Today, we're gonna create a screen pixelation shader in Unity and in Unreal. Let's go. So in last week's video, I said we'd be working on our VHS filter some more this week, uh, but I got a little tired of making 40 minute long videos and decided to make something uh, a little more simple today. We'll get back to the VHS filter uh, shaders next week. So we're going to take a look at how to make this shader that makes your scene looks like look like it's made out of really big pixels. This effect looks really cool and it's really easy to make. We're going to start out in Unity today and then we'll switch over to Unreal. So the first thing that I'm going to do is right click down here in the project and pick create shader graph HDRP and pick full screen shader graph. Now, this effect works just as well in URP, um, but today we're in HDRP. So I'm gonna create a full screen shader graph and we're gonna call this test full screen pixelation. And then I'll double click and here's our brand new shader. So the first thing that we need to do is sample the scene. And to sample the scene, we can use a node called HD scene color. And we need to make sure that we always check this exposure box here. So this represents the, the image that we're rendering of our, of our scene. And in order to pixelate it, we need to alter the UV coordinates that are coming in. So in order to do that, the first thing that we're going to do is bring in our screen position. And these are like UV coordinates that we can use to sample uh, our screen. So the most simple full screen post-process effect that we can make is just taking our scene and sampling it with the position on the screen and then passing out the value. So let's go ahead and save this and we'll switch over to our scene. So right now we're using the shader that I made previously and we need to switch to that shader that we just created. So I'm gonna pick our custom pass uh, volume and we have two custom passes here. Uh, the first one writes out to the screen buffer, and then the second one reads that and writes back to the screen. So this is the slot where we need to put our shader. So here's the shader that we just created, material test full screen pixelation. And I stick that right in the slot. And now our screen looks just the same as it always had, like it's not pixelated at all. So we need to switch back to our shader and add the parts that will pixelate our screen. All right, so here we are in our shader again. And what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna take our screen position and we're going to add 0.5 to it. And the reason that we're, that we're doing this is that we want our effect to scale from the middle. So we're gonna do an add 0.5. And then we're gonna do all of our operations here in the middle. And once we're done, we're going to subtract out 0.5 again. So we move the pivot point of the scene to the middle. We perform our operation and then we subtract out our transformation. Okay, the next thing that we need to know is the size of the screen. So I'm gonna grab our screen node and this one gives us the width and height of the screen. And I'm gonna combine those together into a vector two. So I'm gonna put the width in the X and the height in the Y. So there's our vector two value that combines the width and the height together. And now we're going to divide this by a value that we control. So we're gonna divide the size of the screen by uh, the number of pixels that we want our blocks to be. So I'm gonna come over here to the blackboard and I'm gonna add a new float value and call it pixel size. And this is gonna control the size of our pixels on the screen when we split it up. So I'm gonna open the inspector here and for our pixel size value, I want the default to be 16 so that each of the pixels on our screen is 16. I'm gonna drop this down and for our mode, I'm gonna pick slider so that I can make a little slider on the UI that allows me to adjust the size of the pixels. 
So our minimum pixel value is going to be 16 and our largest pixel value is going to be 256. So we can slide our slider between 16 and 256 to control the size of our pixels. Okay, I'm going to turn off my inspector here and then from the blackboard, I'm going to grab my pixel size parameter and drag it right in. So now I can divide the screen size by the size I want the pixels to be. So now I'm gonna take my screen position and I'm going to multiply it by this size of my pixels here. And so basically I've taken my screen position coordinates which are between zero and one and multiplied them by the size of the screen. So what this is doing is it's expanding the UV coordinates that I'm using for the screen. So they're really large. And the next thing that I need to do is add a floor. And what floor does is it's going to take those coordinates and round them down to the nearest whole number. So I'm scaling my coordinates up large and then rounding them down. And this is basically like quantizing the data so that instead of going smoothly in a in a gradient uh, it's got these hard cuts uh, so uh, i've basically using this floor node i've turned the the data into integers and now i can take this data and scale it back down again so i've multiplied it up large and then i've quantized it and now if i just divide by the size of the pixels again I can bring it back down to normal size. So if I take a look here, this is what my UV coordinates look like to begin with. And then once I've quantized them and scaled them back down, this is what they're looking like now. And you can see that they're kind of split up into these nice little blocks. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Actually, it'll look a little bit nicer once we subtract 0.5 because it's it'll be centered again. Now you can see that I have quantized my data. So it starts out smooth, um, but because I'm adding this floor node here, I'm rounding to the nearest whole number. And so I get this these UV coordinates that look like they're split up into pixels. So I can use those UV coordinates to sample my scene. Let's go ahead and save our shader and we'll switch back to our scene. Yeah, and now you can see that I have this nice pixelated scene. But I need to add a control that lets me control the size uh, of the screen. If I come over here, you can see that this is the shader that we've added and I can expand it out and there's my control. But I can't actually use it because I'm referencing the shader directly here. And what I need to do is create a material instance for it instead. So I'm going to pick my shader, test full screen pixelation, right click and say create material and now this new material that i've created is referencing my test full screen pixelation so i'm going to call this test full screen pixelation mat now i'm going to select my my custom pass volume again and drag my material into uh, the slot here so now that I've added a material in there between my shader and uh, my, my render volume, I'm able to control this parameter here and I can scrub between uh, a pixel size of 16 and a pixel size of 256. So it gives me control over exactly how pixelated my scene is, which is pretty cool. I can go completely pixelated or I can go uh, less pixelated. All right, so that's how you create the pixelation shader in Unity. Uh, it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy one to, to create, and it looks pretty neat. All right, let's switch over to Unreal and take a look at how to do it there. Okay, here we are in Unreal, and you can see I've also created my pixelation shader in this game engine. So let's take a look at the shader. You can see that I'm bringing in my texture coordinate node here and I'm adding 0.5 to center the effect. Then I'm taking my screen resolution node here and 
picking the visible resolution. This is a vector two that gives me the width and height of the screen. And I'm dividing it by this exposed parameter here. Just like I did in Unity, I've exposed this parameter here where I've given it a default value, a pixel size of 16. And I've set my slider minimum to 16 and my maximum to 256. So then I take that value and I multiply my texture coordinates by it. Then we quantize the coordinates by rounding down here with our floor. So we scale our coordinates up, round down, and then scale them back down again. Then we subtract 0.5 to recenter things. And you can see our result here is a quantized looking set of UV coordinates. Then I can use those UV coordinates to sample my scene texture here. So I've got my scene texture node with its scene texture ID set to post-process input zero, which is what Unreal uses uh, to sample the full screen uh, rendering buffer. All right, and then I pass the result out and I'm able to uh, get a pixelated result. Now there is one thing that I wasn't able to figure out in Unreal. So if any of you know how to do this, please comment down below and let me know. So in Unreal, I've got my global post-process volume selected here. And under rendering features, post-process, I've added my shader to the array. And so this, this is my shader here. If I set this value or this weight value to zero, you can see that I'm not using the effect anymore, or I can turn it back on by setting it to one. But what I'd like to be able to do is access that exposed parameter so that in my post-process effect, I can tweak the parameter just like I did in Unity uh, to scale the size of my pixels. However, I don't know how to access this parameter that I've exposed. So if, if any of you know how to do this, please let me know um, to control uh, the parameters of a material in a post-process effect. I can add it to the array here, but I don't know where to access those exposed parameters. Anyway, so you can see that in Unreal and in Unity, we've created this post-processing shader that makes my scene rendering look like it's being rendered in low resolution. And so if you want to create some kind of retro 8-bit game, it might be interesting to, to use this filter for that. Or you could also use it for scene transitions if you were to, able to animate this uh, so that the blocks got larger and larger and then switch to your next scene and came back, you get kind of a Super Mario World pixelated scene transition effect. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you can see how simple it is to scale our UV coordinates up, quantize them by rounding down to the nearest integer, scale them back to normal size and set them back to their center, and then use those UV coordinates to sample the scene to make it look pixelated. Pretty cool. All right, next week, we're gonna go back to our VHS filter again, and I'll show you how to add the final touches to that. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one.